and welcome to this IBM Watson do it yourself tutorials in this video we are going to talk about how to deploy a model please note that in the last video we created SPSS stream like this and uh, we had analysis and distribution all created next what we are going to do is we're going to change the names of these three so I'm going to say churn tree how to change the name just double click on this one and click on this edit and just name this so i just named it churn tree here i named it as churn distribution and uh, this was the churn model so three things churn model churn tree and churn distribution is what i named it to and all i'm going to do is just run the model one more time before deploying so running the model even though you named it as model it still remains a churn tree that means it inherits the name from this now click on this icon deploy model here select churn tree from the list and just say model churn customer churn model and select the machine learning service so i'm going to tell you about this but for now you remember that there is a service which need to be created and this is the watson machine learning service let me just show you quickly how you can create the service if you have not created the service this would appear blank and you cannot deploy the model in order to do that you have to open one more tab and go to the project so this is the project go to settings and from here go to associated service add watson so as soon as you add watson click on machine learning and add a machine learning service it says that existing but you can go to new and add a machine learning service you can select a free and just say create it's going to create a machine learning service for you i repeat in order to create a machine learning service you go to your project this is your project go to settings scroll down associated service add a watson service and say i want to add machine learning service there are a lot of watson services available i'm going to talk about it in the next video but for now just click on add and just select the light version which is a free version and therefore you'll be able to run or deploy this model so once this is done coming back to the spss model you would see the machine learning service over here and just click on save as soon as you click on save here after the save just run the model one more time in order to make sure everything is good and once you have run this model the machine learning churn model is going to be available in your project as one of the models so let's look at it go back to the project and go to assets and you can see that the customer churn model is now available it says train model using spss modeler 18.1 then from the actions click on deploy so as soon as you deploy the service the machine learning model is going to be available so say add deployment just say my bdcs customer churn deployment and click on save and you say it says initializing in a few minutes uh, it will say deployed it says deploy in progress so what we are trying to do is the model which you have created on spss we are trying to deploy the model on 
to the Watson machine learning service. And that is why you would need Watson machine learning service in order to run this SPSS modeler, which is again going to be a web, a web service. So let this complete in a few minutes and I'll, I'll show you how this model has been deployed. In It will take a few minutes. I'm going to pause the video. The deployment is a success. If I click on BDCM churn deployment, you can see that uh, the model is deployed. And it also tells you that this is the machine learning service from where you deployed the model. So this is all set. I'm going to click on implementation. It gives you endpoint end URL, the authorization token, and the JSON format for Python language. You can use this for creating your Python applications using Watson machine learning. I can go to test. And in the test, I can put some data and it can predict. So what we can do is you can provide input at JSON or in the form. So I have to enter all the data. So for this one, what we can do is open the customer churn file. Let me show you. So this is the customer churn file. Let's put this. So ID one, gender, female, status, single. So let's do that. So ID one, gender, female, single, children, one, and then estimated income, 3,800, 38,000, sorry. Car owner, no age 24 24 0 so no 24 24 0 local 207.0 cc local 207.0 cc just fill in the details right i mean it says budget you can use json also to pass uh, this data set usage 230 you can just put this number and rate plan 3 and predict you can see that uh, the values it predicted and uh, you can see the output as chart as well you can test the model as well so that's how you can deploy a model and test a model what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can uh, run the model, create a model using IBM Watson and create another machine learning model without having to do all those things. So for this one, click on the predictive analytics service and ensure that you have added Watson service already. In the machine learning model, you can select on new machine learning model here you would say direct machine learning model please note that there is no relation with SPSS over here I'm going to do it automatically using the Watson service so direct machine learning model cust churn click on manual and let's select the default Scala say create make sure the machine learning model is service is selected so this i am doing it outside the spss creating a model and i can show you how you can create a model so simple it says create a notebook or design a modeler flow without doing any of these i'm going to create like from here you can select customer churn and say next From here, you can select label. The target is churn. So this is column value to predict label column and feature columns is all. Or you can select whatever columns you want to do. So gender, marital status, children, income, owner, age, long distance. So you select the columns which are applicable 
for the prediction of the churn. So you can see I selected every column except the ID. I select binary classification as it's a churn and then I'm going to say hold out as 10%. So you can select like split thing the data remember the split in the SPSS it's very similar so I want to make test as 10 so train 80 test 10 and hold out 10 and then I'm going to say add estimators so I selected binary classification add estimators I'm going to select decision tree and random forest I want to estimate any of these two or both of these two and then so binary classification using decision tree and random say next and it will do all the magic it will have both of this models trained and again you don't have to do any SPSS modeler or you don't have to do anything what we did in SPSS it can be done without SPSS and that is what I was trying to show you so as is at its training I just wanted to let you know that in the SPSS we created an SPSS stream and we deployed that next step we created a direct machine learning model on top of Watson machine learning services selected customer churn selected predicted variable and selected the estimated types to be random forest and decision tree classifier and once it's done I can speak and deploy the models so it's going to take some time going to pause the video now it shows you which model has what kind of performance i'm going to select random forest classifier as it is excellent with 97 percent of roc so and the precision recall curve with 97 so this is better model i'm going to say save it says save and I'm saving the model in the next step I'm going to deploy the model and predict so you can see how there are multiple methods of saving the model and deploying the model on the IBM Watson studio so the first one was SPSS which I showed you the second is the direct method and the third one would be using Python or OR notebooks which I'm going to show in a few minutes so this is all set now I'm going to click on deployments similar to what we did for SPSS click on add deployment I say direct churn deployment or direct churn model and click on save very similar to what we did it is initializing and we will be able to do the, exactly the same what we did with SPSS and we will see both of these models deployed and can be executed this click on the model and say test and you can enter the same data and find out what it is so id1 gender female stat children 2 uh, 38000 age 24 long distance let me check the data so long distance is Oops, sorry. Estimated income is 38,000. Car owner, no. Long distance, 24,207. So 24,207. Payment method, credit card. Uh, local billability budget. Long distance between international discount. Usage 230 and rate plan 3. Now let's predict. And you can see that it predicted that this customer is not going to leave your service and it's 90.99% sure about it. So you saw how we did this direction model. Uh, and so let's go back to the project. And in the model sections now, 
you can see one model which was coming directly from SPSS, another model was deployed from Watson Machine Learning Service. In the next video, we're going to talk about the Python workflows. Thank you for watching.